This is the entrance of Tinkerbell and where Peter and Tink and the Shadow kind of rustle around the room and end up waking Wendy and the boys up. So, the very beginning, Peter is on center and he, in the last dance, ended with snapping his fingers to kind of be like, hey Tink, come help me. Tink appears in the window. One, two, three, four. She jumps down and relays in six and does a little, does a little shake of the hips. One, two, two, three, four. She does a pakaru in six. One, two, three, four. And puts her head on, like puts her hands on Peter's shoulder, and just like says, "Yes, Peter." And Peter says, "You go that way because he's going to search this way." Then your combination is you have two really small, really quick. Your arms are here, traveling to stage right with your right leg. Two quick pas de chat. One, two, then a relevé double rond de jambe. Again, pas de chat, pas de chat, relevé double rond de jambe. Then you step over, step over pirouette, land in fourth, and you're going to take your back leg and PK back attitude to come start looking around the room. So your combination is pas de chat, pas de chat, double rond de jambe, pas de chat, pas de chat, double rond de jambe, step over, PK, turn, finish, and then PK back attitude, to come back this way and start looking for the shadow in everything that's on stage right. Once that happens, Peter does not chasse, run, run, tour jeté, where the second leg goes through a double pay. So instead of tour jeté, two straight legs, you do kick the first leg, the second leg comes through passe. So it's like tour jeté, land. Chasse out of the tour jeté, jeté, land and tap the foot, tom of arabesque, glee side, grand jeté to travel upstage left. So the combination is run, run, tour jeté through passe, chasse out of it, a jeté that the arm comes over the top as you tap your foot, tom of arabesque, glee side, grand jeté. Now, there's an extra 10 counts here that we had just for Peter and, and uh, Tank to be searching. But I would like to have Tink do that same tour jeté ending and grand jeté combination after Peter does it. So Tink, after you've done step over and finish, PK back at a two, you look around for things while Peter does tour jeté, jeté, chasse, grand jeté that way. And then you do the same thing, run, run, tour jeté, chasse, jeté, tap, Tom Leverbes, Side, grand jeté. And at that point, the shadow starts coming out from underneath Wendy's bed, but Tink, Peter's over there searching for, thing, for the shadow. Tink is like looking at things this way so you don't see the shadow go out from under the bed. Tink hops up on Wendy's bed, hops down, so both Tink and Peter are over here, and Peter is like, have you seen it? And Tink is like, mm -mm, I haven't seen the shadow. Shadow, you come out from under the bed and you don't see that uh, Peter and Tink are behind you. You come crawling out and you sneak down the center of the stage and you look and there's a change in the music where they point and see you. They see you, you, you look one, two, look at the audience, three, four, and you, as they come running, Peter and Tink will glee side, grand jeté over the shadow because the shadow slides to the split. It's like, that's the way you ducked under them. You slide to the split. Shadow is on, in the splits on the ground. You hold your front leg and you roll. You do like a sausage roll in the splits. You have 12 counts for that. So Peter and Tink, on the change of music, you see the shadow, you run and run, you glee side, you grungitate over the top of the shadow who's slid into the splits. And then you have 12 counts, so it's like you guys are kicking the shadow, and that's why the shadow is rolling. So you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. The last thing before we hear this bit with the music is, shadow's been rolling in the splits. You let go of your legs so that you end up just on your stomach on the floor with your legs behind, you're facing stage left. So Peter and Tank, who's behind you, they each grab one of your legs. 
Peter and Tink, you pull the shadow directly across stage so that you get to center stage, and then you turn and pull the shadow up stage center. Then the shadow is gonna kick Peter and Tink off. So like the shadow kicks the legs, ah, Peter and Tink get like, like get off me, and the shadow hops up, and then we have a little chase scene. So, going from the beginning, Peter's on center, Tink comes in, jumps down, puts her head on Peter's shoulder, Peter says go that way. Peter, once you tell Tink go that way, you do a really like boyish walk. It's kind of, it's the same walk that the Lost Boys do, where you're walking big, lift your leg up to the front, like almost like you're marching, but it's like you're stomping. And when you do it, you really go like this with your arms. So Peter is like, you go that way and he, you know, just a real like, over-the-top kind of old-school Disney cartoon boy walk just to show that they're not graceful at all. Okay, so Peter says go that way and marches off to like look over here. Tink does parasha, parasha, double run a jump, parasha, parasha, double run a jump, PK step over, land in fourth, PK attitude and start looking for the shadow upstage right. Peter does Run, run, tour jete through passe, chasse out of it, jete, tap your, your, tap your foot, tamave, glissai, grand jete. Then Tink does that same combination. Run, run, tour jete, chasse, jete, tap the foot, tamave, glissai, grand jete. And at that point, the shadow starts coming out from underneath Wendy's bed. Tink doesn't see it. Peter and Wendy are upstage left when the shadow has snuck out and they see the shadow and the shadow goes, uh-oh, looks at the audience and slides to the split. Peter and Tink see the shadow, they run, glee side, grandjete over, the shadow is in the splits, shadow in the split rolls, Peter and Tink are kicking the shadow, causing it to roll. Then they grab both legs of the shadow, pull it directly across stage, and then turn and pull it up the center, and the shadow kicks Peter and Tink off. Let's hear this with the music. Tink's choreography is pretty darn fast. So she has four counts to come in the window. Jump down, shake. Pockaroo. Go that way. Parasha, 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 step over, attitude, Peter, run, run, tour jete, top of it, glee side, run jete, then Tink does the same thing, tour jete, jete, top of it, run jete, shadow comes out, Tink has gone to upstage left, they see, Slides down, they grunge tail over. Kick, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pull the shadow. Pull the shadow. Shadow kicks them off and gets up. So it's a chase, so it has to be fast and it has to be frantic, but it also has to be precise. And it's, I hope that you can learn what the choreography, the fine points of the choreography are, even though I can't really show it, and it's difficult to practice it. But at least getting used to the music and getting used to when things happen and how things happen, just structure-wise. Then we can clean. So, from here, the shadow who was being dragged on its stomach kicks the legs to get Peter and Tink off, and Peter and Tink kind of get like knocked off balance. So the shadow hops up. The shadow does. Uh, oh, that's your So the shadow, the shadow kicks them off, hops up, and the shadow kind of like does a, a fake out. So the shadow does glee side. Jete, just not a grand jete, just a normal jete this way, and as quick as you can change direction, 
do chasse grand pas de chasse. So it's like it's like the shadow says, I'm going this way. No, I'm not grand pas de chasse. And then it runs over here and hops in the toy box that has the lid up. Hop in the toy box, thumb thumb the nose, you know, make a make a face at Peter and Tate, you can't catch me, and then closes the lid shut. When the shadow goes glissade jeté and immediately turns, Peter and Tink go that direction, so it's like they were chasing and just missed the shadow. Um, uh, as the shadow goes stage right with chassé, glissade, grand pas de chat, Peter goes stage left with glissade, grand pas de chat, and Tink does grand jeté. So grand pas de chat is kind of Peter's jump, and grand jeté is Tink's jump. So the shadow goes glissade, jeté, and then turns, and Peter and Tink go glissade, Peter does grand pas de chat, Tink does glissade, grand jeté, but the shadow has already gone the other way. And so then they look, the shadow jumps in the toy box, thumbs its nose at them, and closes the lid. So they run over there, and we're gonna have basically a piece of really stretchy black fabric. So it's like they grab the statue, the, the shadow, and the shadow is like being stretched, 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 stretched. Be like a little gag. So they'll grab that piece of fabric and they'll grab, you know, stretch the shadow and then like let go and fall on the floor. And so obviously the person who's playing the shadow will be inside the box and when they let go, we'll have to like gather up the shadow fabric because when the shadow comes out of the toy box, Peter stands up. The shadow now runs at Peter. They hold right hands. The shadow does a tour jeté, so it's like Peter will like swing the shadow. So you should be able to go really high up. We do this in the pirate dance as well. Tour jeté, and then run, 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 run. Uh, the shadow will PK arabesque just flat because Tink is going to grab your leg in PK arabesque and you kick your foot to knock knock Tink over and then you uh, the shadow is going to go uh, all the way around upstage over the window over uh, jumping onto Wendy's bed while Peter and Tink chase her jumps on Wendy's bed and they're like no 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 you're gonna wake her up Shadow jumps off, jumps onto the boys' beds, jumps onto the boys' beds, sees the thing of Hook and gets startled by it like Peter did. And that's when Peter has caught up to the shadow and just grabs the shadow just around the arms. Starts pulling and Tink gets the legs. So Peter has the shadow like upper body, Tink has the legs, and they have picked the shadow up off the floor. And the shadow is like struggling you know, but not so much to actually drop you. And you guys stay downstage because you want to have distance between you and Wendy when Wendy wakes up. The shadow, they, they bring the shadow down to about quarter on stage right, downstage. And they get the shadow to the floor and Peter says to Tink, go get the soap that's on the dresser over here. So Peter's holding the shadow, Tink goes and gets the soap uh, gives it to Peter, then Tink holds the shadow, and Peter tries to stick the shadow's feet to his feet using soap. And that's when Wendy wakes up. So, let's hear this music. Well, let's, let's go over the structure first. They drag the shadow. Shadow kicks Peter and Tink off and hops up. Shadow does glissade, jeté, just kidding, I'm going this way, glissade, Grand, uh, chasse, grand pas de chat, jumps in the toy box, na na na, and closes the lid. When the shadow goes, Peter and Tink try to catch it with a grand pas de chat, and Tink does a grand jeté. And they just miss the shadow, the shadow goes that way, and when it goes into the toy box, they run over, and they grab the stretchy fabric, and they pull the shadow, and then let go and fall over. Shadow comes out of the toy box, gets out of the toy box, Peter has stood up. Shadow runs, Shadow and Peter hold right hands. Shadow does a tour jeté around Peter, runs over and does a step arabesque, just flat. When the Shadow does step arabesque, Tinkerbell has run around, comes and grabs the Shadow's leg, 
the shadow kicks Tink off, and Tink kind of falls back, and maybe Peter could catch, could catch Tink. Shadow runs around, runs on top of the toy box, runs over, you know, just creating havoc as Peter and Tink follow the shadow around. The shadow jumps on top of Wendy's bed, looks at them, and bounces up on down on Wendy's bed, and they're like, no, 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 no. Shadow jumps off, jumps onto John's bed, jumps to Michael's bed, jumps off, and there's the Captain Hook costume, which causes the shadow to, you know, get scared, and that gives Peter enough time to catch up and grab the shadow. Oh, I made a mistake. The shadow jumps on Wendy's bed, then jumps down. The shadow doesn't jump on the boys' beds. The shadow grabs the covers and throws John's covers up into the air, goes to Michael's bed, so throws it up. Peter or Tate catches it and puts it back on the boy. So the shadow throws the covers off the bed and then sees, sees Captain Hook get scared and gets caught by Peter and Tink and they pick up the shadow, take it all the way across stage. Peter says, go get the soap. Tink goes and gets it. Peter is on the ground holding the shadow who is still kind of struggling. Tink gives Peter the soap. Tink holds the shadow and Peter starts trying to stick the Stick your feet together with soap. And that's when Wendy wakes up. Let's hear this dance all the way from the beginning with the music. <clears throat> Team, jump down, wiggle, pop-a-roo, on Peter's shoulder. Pot a shot, pot a shot, pot a shot, pot a shot. Step over, have it too. Search. Peter does tour jeté. Jeté. Grunge jeté. Tink does the same thing. Tour jeté. Grunge jeté. This is the shadow coming out. They both see the shadow. Please side. Grunge jeté over. Okay, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Pull. Shadow kicks them off. Besides, Chate. Chasse. Front high shot. Jump in the toy box. Close the lid. Peter and Tink. Pull. And fall. Shadow gets out of the toy box, runs, grabs Peter right hand, tours your tay, does a pair Tink grabs the leg, kick Tink off, run around, jump on Wendy's bed, throw the covers, throw the covers, get scared by hook, Peter Pan grabs you. Struggle, 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 all the way to quarter, downstage. Peter says, go get the soap. Tink goes and gets the soap. Gives the soap to Peter. Tink holds the shadow, while Peter tries to stick the shadow on with soap. Now. Now at this point, Wendy starts to wake up on that change in music. So Wendy kind of does a, does a yawn, sits up in her bed, and then sees that there's people in her room, and then she sees that it's Peter Pan, so she kind of gets out of her bed and takes a couple of steps and then comes over and stands, so Peter, and the shadow and Tink are right here. And, t and uh, Wendy says, what are you doing? And Peter gestures to, the, uh, to his foot and the shadow saying, I can't get it to stick. And Wendy says, hang on a second. She goes around to, to the dresser and takes imaginary needle and thread and she is down on her knees, so Peter and the shadow have their feet right here. And Wendy does 
three big stitches and then ties. And that's when Peter, there's a music change, Peter stands up and the shadow stands up right behind Peter and fists on the hips and kick to the side, kick to the side, run, run, run. Shadow is doing exactly the same thing that Peter does. Run, run, run. Tom LeVay and uh, Ungard to, to the hook costume. And you step back on a PK bent knee, double pay, step, double pay, step. And I think there's three of those, but I'll check. Then you go over to Wendy and you say, Madam, thank you so much. And Wendy says, oh, you're quite welcome. And she grabs Peter and starts waltzing with Peter, who has never danced before and doesn't know what this girl is doing. And so it's like, like looking at Tink, like what is she doing? And at that point, when Wendy grabs Peter and starts waltzing, the shadow is not doing the same thing as Peter anymore. The shadow goes like this and watches Wendy waltz that way with Peter and crosses crosses arms and says, uh-uh, and looks right, looks left, runs and jumps on the window, and Tink runs over and says, no, 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 and the shadow says, bye-bye, and jumps out the window. And Tink does like a stomp, shucks. And at that point, um, Peter says, what? And Tink gestures to the window and says, sorry. And Peter just goes, oh, like this. And since they've stopped dancing, Wendy says, I'm going to wake up the boys and introduce them to Peter. So there's a change in the music where Wendy shakes John, two, three, four, shakes Michael, two, three, four. They stand up on their bed and she goes over and taps Peter and introduces the boys. The boys bow to Peter. Peter has hands on fists on hips and is just looking at the boys. They jump off of their bed and they do like a chasse around Peter. They're just so happy that they're meeting the real Peter Pan. And now we're going to do a, um, a menage around the room where Peter has his own combination, Wendy has a combination, and the boys and Tink all have their own combinations. No kitties. So, so. Peter does a, he step, steps on the right foot, Tom LeVay Passe, thank you Joey. No, oh, it's fine. So we all do a menage. Peter says, let's go by doing a step Tom LeVay Passe and having, having the arm go, let's go. Chasse, you do a foot in arabesque, but the bottom leg comes up to Passe. So you do a Fuete arabesque. I can't jump real high because I'll hit the ceiling. Fuete, uh, fuete arabesque, bring the bottom leg up to passe, chasse. Fuete the other way, chasse. We're going around the room. Fuete and fuete. So your legs go up to this position. Wendy does pique arabesque, step, waltz, turn, chene with the arms coming up through fifth, pique arabesque. Step, waltz, turn, chene with the arms coming up through fifth. The boys are doing step, hop, step, hop, and turn around twice in plie. Step, hop, step, hop, turn around twice, like two chene on releve. Step, hop, step, hop, turn twice in plie. Step, hop, step, hop, twice on releve. Tink is doing the same thing as Wendy. Tinkerbell is doing Pacaru in sixth, Glee side, Grand Jeté. Pacaru in sixth, Glee side, Grand Jeté. Everyone is just repeating their phrase all the way around. When they get to Wendy's bed, Peter and Tink jump up easily over Wendy's bed. Wendy and the boys have to like, obviously clumsy, 
crawl over the bed because it's like showing that Peter and Tink can fly. Once they've come all the way around, Wendy runs to center stage and she does a PK arabesque and she calls the boys. John runs to this side, Michael runs to this side. Wendy does, after she does Fouette and Call the Boys, she does uh, to the left first. She PKs on the left foot to back attitude, land, open the arm. Then she goes right, PK back attitude, come down to a lunge, open the arm. She relevates to Sue, the boys take her hand, and she bores as the boys run around holding her hand. The boys do their hop and hop and turn around, hop and hop and turn around before they take her hand and they skip going around holding her hands. Then Wendy does step hop front attitude, step hop front attitude, tombe coupe arabesque, chasse, tour jeté, she does balance out of the tour jeté, pique arabesque, and she runs back to center. When she goes this way, the boys go over here and they dance with Tink. Once Wendy does her tour jeté, balance, pique arabesque, she runs this way as Peter comes on this side of her and they hold inside hand and double pay front, then they swap. Double a pay, so I'm Peter, Wendy is now on stage left. Then Wendy steps around and she does a PK attitude holding onto Peter's hand and shoulder and then come down and then they go the other way. Wendy goes stage left first, step step goes right and then does PK back attitude holding Peter's hand and shoulder and comes down and Peter says to the boys and to Wendy, let's go and hops up on the window and gestures to the window. Wendy and the boys, they come and they look down and then they get scared and they say, no, 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 we can't do that. And Peter says, don't worry, it's okay. Points to take. Tinkerbell will let you guys fly. And that's the end of that dance. Let's hear this with the music. This is Wendy waking up. One phrase, she kind of starts to wake up. She stands up, she sits up in her bed, sees, she gets out of bed, and she comes over and she says, what is going on? Peter says, I can't make the shadows stick. Wendy goes and gets the sewing kit and she sews, 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 ties a nice knot. And Peter stands up. on the window and Tinkerbell says wait no 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 the shadow says bye bye and jumps off Wendy wakes up the boys John Michael the boys stand up she taps Peter the boys bow to Peter they jump down and they chasse around Peter we're all gonna go around the stage Peter goes first, Tom the Bay. Chasse Fuerte. Chasse Fuerte. Wendy. Waltz. Turn. Pique Arabesque. Chenet. Boys. Skip. 
skip, skip, turn, twice, skip, skip, and Tiki's doing Pankaru Grunge Wendy is on center, calls the boys, she does PK left, at a two, and hold, balance at a two, and hold, take the boys' hands, around. And the boys run over to dance with Tink. Wendy goes Tom Bay. One, two, Tom Bay Coop Bay Arbes. Tourjete, Balance. Pique Arbes. She and Peter. Pique hold hands. Pique hold hands. Balance on Peter's shoulder. Pique hold hands. go. They come and look and say, no, 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 we can't do that. Peter jumps down and says, don't worry. Tink can help you. Tinkerbell is over here and looks at them like, excuse me? Whoop. So that's a lot of things happening at the same time, but you can, you know, go back over certain pieces of the video to see what is happening when, and obviously I'm not saying what everyone is doing at every moment. I'm kind of saying if there was a spotlight, this is what the spotlight would be on. So this is what the focus of that moment of the scene is. So like when Wendy, uh, when Wendy comes to the middle to start doing her dance, Tinkerbell has finished, you know, her menage, and she just does not like Wendy. She is just doesn't like the attention Peter's giving Wendy. So that's where you can do your own. You can fill time by like sitting on the bed, or you can even hop up and sit on the chest of drawers. We will give specific things for people that aren't the focus that moment to do, but you can also try coming up with your own things. That's one thing that's really fun when you're one of the people on stage, but not in the spotlight. It's fun to think of your own story or own things that you can do. And uh, if you just can't, we will help you out, but see what you can come up with. This is what you're thinking at this moment. This is why you're doing what you're doing. So just have fun with it. And if it's, you know, if we can help you make a better choice, we will. So, that is that scene. It starts with uh, Tink coming in, Peter and Tink searching for the shadow. They see the shadow, they wrestle with the shadow, and in the ruckus, Wendy ends up waking up. Helps sew the shadow on. Peter is very happy, but then the shadow escapes again while Wendy is waltzing with Peter. So then Wendy wakes up the boys, introduces them to Peter. Everyone dances around the room. The boys dance with Tink while Wendy and Peter dance together. And then Peter says, let's all go to Neverland. And they look out the window and see that it's way too high. And they're like, no, we can't go out the window. And Peter says, wait, Tinkerbell will help you fly. And that's the end of the dance.